One from the two group threads. Week one, report. As every season we open the lodge for New Year's Eve and spend it all together with the first group. David and Sarah joined us again, this being their 10th time. Dinner and New Year's Eve felt at the same time like a great celebration for a new season and with it a new migration of these strong Syrian Browns. River conditions were not easy, unusually low and clear for this part of the season. Most of the structure of the stretch of river has not changed except from one of our favorites, Cantera, with a massive variation of the main channel but still producing as usual. As for lodge improvements, for this season we have in number one the new waders area for our guests to be more comfortable and keep their gear arranged and ready. With the strong winds and warmer temperatures on the beginning of the week and a sudden change after a couple of days, the expectation for a push of water and a little rise kept everyone focused. Still, a good number of fresh sea trout has been spotted all over. The team relied on the single handers during those sessions with less wind to get better presentation and improve the chances of tricking this shy fish. The total of sea trout landed was 40 as every time river gets low and clear, using thinner leaders and smaller flies gives a better chance for the fish to escape. In this case, at least another 50% of the sea trout were lost in the fight. The total number of resident brown trout was 152, and biggest right over 21 inches. David got this week's biggest sea trout, a gorgeous 16-pounder in Barranca Blanca, and he was also top rod of the week with 10 sea trout landed.